The overall goal of this procedure is to measure and quantify the amount of DNA damage in neurons using the comet assay. This is accomplished by first exposing the neurons to various DNA damaging conditions, collecting the neurons, and mixing them with low melting point agarose. The second step is to immobilize the neurons on slides. Next, the neurons are lysed and then subjected to electrophoresis. In the final step, the DNA is stained with cyber green. Ultimately, fluorescence microscopy and the comet assay software are used to visualize and quantify the levels of DNA damage in individual neurons. Hello. My name is Eddie Yang, and I am an assistant professor in the Department of Radiation Oncology at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Today, we will be demonstrating the Comet assay, which is a simple method to detect DNA damage in cells. The main advantage of this technique over other existing methods, such as the gamma H2AX foci staining, as well as the pulse field gel electrophoresis, is that this technique is a direct and sensitive method to measure DNA damage. Additionally, with minor modifications of this technique, the type of DNA damage can be determined. Because many cancer therapies act by inducing DNA damage in tumors and often act by altering DNA repair capacity, the implications of this technique can be extended toward the efficacy of cancer therapy. Demonstrating the procedure today will be Ms. Samara Noshin, a research assistant.